One really difficult circumstance happens, and that is, suppose I am locked in a relationship with a person. I'm married to this person. I'm, uh, I'm the parent or the child of this person. I work for this abusive boss. And so I know I can't get out of this relationship, but I'm getting hurt almost every time I interact with the person. So from a standpoint of forgiveness, what I have to do is I have to just strive to make a decision to forgive every time. How many times do we have to forgive? Seven? Not seven, says Jesus, but 77. 70 times seven, every time. I want to make a decision to forgive. But from a practical standpoint, I'm probably not going to reconcile my relationship with this person, so I have to protect and limit the damage. So, you know, David is locked in a relationship with Saul. Saul is throwing spears at him and trying to kill him. And he doesn't hang around until he gets a spear through the chest, you know. He takes some kind of evasive action so that he doesn't keep putting himself in danger. And of course, it gets to the place where God delivers Saul to David in the cave, but David doesn't take vengeance on Saul. But, you know, realizes this is God's appointed and leaves him. And that's what I have to do. You know, this may be a child of God or is a child of God. I don't know. It's not my place to know what their status with God is. But I'm going to treat them as a child of God. But I am going to limit for safety's sake my relationship as much as I can.